In this video we are going to have a relatively brief look at custom widget libraries and how you might use them to work on projects collaboratively. Widget libraries are great because we as UX designers shouldn't be reinventing the wheel every time we do a new project. The vast majority of UI design on the web follows well-established patterns that the user expects and feels comfortable with. By working collaboratively and having a repository of established design patterns, we can work efficiently across projects. Widget libraries are that repository. Let's recap what a widget library is. We've been working with the default wireframe widget library all the time. You can go download widget libraries. A quick Google search will, will reveal many of varied quality, both free and paid for. And the option to load them is found here. But we're going to create our own today. Widget libraries are files with a .rplib extension. Let's choose a name and where to save our rplib file. There's a default libraries folder created when you install Axia. Let's use this. Bear in mind this location may be different on a Mac. We'll call our file My Widgets. You'll now see that another instance of Axia opens up. This is a custom widget library Axia window. It looks a lot like a standard Axia file, but there are some subtle differences. Where the sitemap usually is, we find a custom widget library palette. Each page we see here is effectively a widget that will occupy a slot in the widget library when we open and browse it via an RP project file. Let's open the first default widget and take a look around. OK, still feels like a page, doesn't it? Well, for all intents and purposes, it is, and it's very powerful in that respect. In each custom widget, we can include widgets, masters, styles, interactions, dynamic panels. Uh, we can also include annotations for each widget. Uh, so in summary, custom library widgets can be static in nature or be very interactive. The tricky aspect of the latter is ensuring it plays nicely with other interactive widgets in the destination project file. So what widget libraries allow us to do is build a collection of design patterns that we can deploy to a wide range of projects. All you need to do is drag the widgets into your project files, make any necessary tweaks, then send the specs off to the designers for them to add the high fidelity design. Let's see how this works in practice. Okay, Let's go and grab our slideshow and simply paste it into new widget 1. Now you'll notice that the styles didn't copy across and the tabs have lost their grayscale shading. OK, so you've witnessed the first and easiest way of copying designs from project to project. Copy and paste. Luckily there is a better way. What we need to do is an import from RP action which allows you to import not only styles but objects and masters and much more. We're going to co cover this operation next. <laughs> 